Is this the most diverse national park in Britain? In this video, we'll show you all that this unique park has to offer. But first, where can it be found? This is Jersey. Located less than 100 miles from the south of England, this 45 square mile island has its very own national park. It's 2,145 hectares, which is 16% of the island, and it wraps around three quarters of the coastline. Jersey's National Park is relatively new. In 2009, more than 7,000 locals formed a human line in the sand in St. Juan's Bay in a peaceful protest against major development projects that were threatening parts of Jersey's coastline. The people called for its protection. And two years later, the National Park was officially endorsed by Jersey's government. So what's in the National Park? People work, play and live inside the boundaries of the park. And tourists and locals alike are encouraged to visit and enjoy all that it has to offer. Most people who visit national parks in the UK go for the walks or hikes. And Jersey National Park won't disappoint. There's a huge variety of landscapes to walk through. The rugged cliffs of the north coast with stunning views across to the other Channel Islands. Woodland trails like this one through St. Catharines, complete with stepping stones and rope swings. Miles of leafy country lanes winding between fields. Or a beautiful pathway around an arboretum and reservoir. And while walking here on the sand dunes, you get a panoramic view of the bay, including the nature reserve and the wild orchid fields, which you can also walk around. As well as this, every June since 1991, the National Park plays host to a large portion of the 48.1 mile around the island walk. A challenge that more than 26,000 walkers have attempted while raising money for local charities. But walking isn't the only way that you can enjoy this national park. You can horse ride or cycle your way around the park, or perhaps even blow cart across the sand. If you're feeling adventurous, you might want to climb up or abseil down the cliff faces. Or perhaps you'd prefer a more leisurely round of golf or beach yoga session. Because much of the park's area is around the coastline of Jersey, you can also enjoy it from in, on or above the water. If you fancy getting wet, there's stand-up paddle boarding, kayaking or surfing, scuba diving, co-steering or jet skiing and much, much more. For a bird's eye view, you can paraglide or even do a skydive for the ultimate adrenaline rush. And if all that's a bit extreme for you, then you can enjoy a guided tour of the island's coast by rib. You can even explore the other nearby islands which are part of Jersey's National Park. The Paternosters, the Ekrahoes and the Minkies. And while you're out on the water, there's a good chance you'll catch sight of bottlenose dolphins, grey seals, oyster catchers and terns. At different times of the year, thousands of birds stop in the National Park to feed or breed, including Brent geese who've travelled from Canada and puffins among many others. If you want to visit some of the resident or visiting bird life, then you can come here to the National Trust for Jersey Wetland Centre in the heart of St Juan's Bay. The centre is perfectly situated, overlooking St Juan's Pond, which is a site of special interest nature reserve. It offers panoramic views of the reed bed and pond through its 16 viewing windows, which are positioned at a range of different heights, offering adults, children and visitors with disabilities a unique perspective to birdwatch without disturbing the wildlife. The Wetland Centre is also an information centre where you can learn about the reserve's waders and waterfowl, as well as the area's rich history. There's so much to see and do in the Jersey National Park. You really do need to come and see it for yourself to truly appreciate its beauty. So, is this the most diverse national park in Britain? Let us know in the comments and tag who you'd bring with you.
If you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up and share it with anyone else who you think might be interested. See you next time.